In April, the Florida Department of Transportation began finalizing plans to replace the Amax Brewer Bridge with a high-level fixed-span bridge. Estimated cost of the project will be $45 million and will begin in May of 2009. It is slated to finish in the spring of 2011. The overall project length is approximately 6,300 feet. The new bridge will be built south of the existing bridge and will be approximately 3,200 feet long. The main span is anticipated to be 221 feet with 125 feet of horizontal navigable clearance. The bridge height will have 65 feet of vertical clearance in the navigable channel. A typical section will provide a 12-foot lane in each direction with 8-foot shoulders and 5-foot sidewalks separated from the shoulders by a concrete barrier with railing. The swing span and boat traffic in the channels will be maintained at all times during construction. For safety reasons, the crews can only work in the water from a half hour after sunrise until a half hour prior to sunset. FDOT will ensure the contractor adheres to requirements to protect the environment during construction. To minimize traffic impacts, the old bridge will remain in place until the new bridge is finished. However, Traffic on the west end will shift to the North Relief Bridge in midsummer to accommodate construction activities. There may be some night work and lane closures, but will be avoided whenever possible during heavy traffic periods. The project will include close coordination with the U.S. Coast Guard. Voters should look for U.S. Coast Guard notices to mariners that will identify any potential changes to navigation through the bridge area. Areas under the south side of the bridge frequented by fishing enthusiasts and others will be temporarily removed early to allow construction to proceed. Parking, pavilions, and boat ramps on the north side of the bridge will remain intact. The project will also include relocating Florida Power & Light's underwater line. Most other utilities are attached to the bridge and will remain until demolition occurs. For the safety of the public and the work crews, please obey all posted speed limits in the work zone and be mindful of construction vehicles and equipment moving in and out of travel lanes. Please be alert and obey all posted construction warning signs and other devices. 